Good morning, Marauders. It is Thursday, June 20th. I'm Thomas. And I'm Kirsten. Welcome to the second annual exam Banting Video Billboard. Happy birthday to Magnus Boyer, Ryan Bernardi, Thomas Bird, and Mason Chopic. Now to the weather. Good morning, Bantade. It's me, Nick and Brandon, and welcome back. Today's weather is still 15 degrees, and it still feels like 15 degrees. Today is also National Ice Cream Soda Day, so that looks pretty good. So get one, drink it, and then change your diet because that's very unhealthy for you. Yeah. Today is also uh, the second quarter of the day is the biggest challenge of life is to be yourself because you live in a world that everyone, everybody wants you to be like them. That is very strong. Today's famous birthdays go to both Josh Lucas, an American actor who turns 48 years old today. And Faze Apex, a famous YouTuber who turns 22 years old. With his pet parrot. I'm not sure why. But anyways, I'm afraid that this is going to be the last time you'll see us. So while we go over the sports, me and Brandon will sign off for the last time. Yeet. I need to get audition rolls. All right, here we go with sports. Yesterday, the junior boys basketball team traveled to Petawawa for the OFSA championships, winning all three round robin games by 18 points. Following that, they won 100 to 22 in the quarterfinals against our neighbors down south Toronto. Moving on to semifinals, the team won 103 to 100 thanks to Sam O'Coin for sinking the last three pointer with 0.5 seconds. Moving on to finals against Thunder Bay, the score ended up being 55 57 for Benting, after Matt Board sunk the final two pointer with three minutes remaining, keeping a very defensive game for the last minutes. Congratulations on the gold medal, boys. More with Offsa news starting Senior Girls Golf, where Kirsten Spade won a gold medal coming in 10 under par, despite having a minor incident flipping a golf cart on hole eight at the club at Bond Head. She remained uninjured and finished in first place, earning Banting a second offset gold medal. Finally, for sports, Ryan Bernardi traveled to Miami yesterday for the US National Single Synchronized Swimming Competition, placing 80th out of 60 competitors. How that's possible, I'm gonna leave that up to you. We're going to move on to the host now for the rest of the announcements. The Kendall Club is meeting next Tuesday at 11 o'clock to 11.30 in room 151 to practice on your swordsmanship skills. Now for a video about the haunting of Banting. Field. And period two for your grade 12 picture to be taken by Miss Meadows. Grade 10s, there is a field trip on June 12th to the Art Gallery of Ontario. Please give your forms to Miss Donor in room 156 at the start of lunch. Now for a video about the Legacy Project. Hey Banting, today we're going to be asking everyone what they would tell their grade 9 selves. Welcome to Banting Grade 9s, let's get started. Well James, what would you tell your grade 9 self? To get a job. Fair enough. Money's pretty important. Getting a job early is a great idea. We now have here with us Amanda. What would you tell your grade 9 self? Um, high school goes by a lot faster than you think, so just enjoy it while it lasts and don't stress too much. Definitely some really good advice. Grade 9 seems like it takes forever, but as soon as you get to grade 10, it passes by pretty quick. Now we have with us two very insightful grade 12s. We have Cole first. What would you tell your grade 9 self? Uh, don't even bother trying with the women. They're never going to like you no matter how hard you try. So just spend your time worrying more about, you know, money and grades and all that cool stuff. Enjoy. I mean, fair enough. Now, Jacob, what do you have to say? I would say that I would go into communication technology earlier. I went into it in grade 12 and I wish I did it in grade 9. Definitely. Being in grade 11 now, going into grade 12, it's a pretty fun course. I suggest taking it. Have a good one. Here's the video after this one. Hey, what's your name? 
My name's Lily Casey Anka. I'm Dexter. Vanessa. Hey, Lily. Were you part of the color run? Uh, yes, I definitely was. You, you see this dress, actually? Yeah. It used to be white, but then I was in the color run, and it is now red, so I guess that's my dress now. Were you at the color run? Yes, I was. So, like, tell us what happened. Well, my hair turned brown. It used to be very, very bright yellow. And my nails turned green when they used to be turquoise. Oh my gosh, that is, that is just wild. Did you go to the color run, Dexter? Yeah, I did. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, well, what, well tell us what happened. Uh, well, you see my shirt here. It was actually white, but since I've gone to the color run, it's yellow now. It's completely stained. Oh my gosh, that's so funny, Anosh. On a scale of 1 to 10, how fun was the color run? 12. 19 out of 10. 10. 10? Well, you heard it here. There's no other person to ask. Thank you, Dexter. The Momus Bus, our youth walking clinic, is here every other Tuesday from 9.30 to 1 p.m. parked at the bus ramp. Sorry. If you're coping with drugs, alcohol, STDs, or pregnancy, the Youth Walking Clinic is here to help. Services are confidential, free, and geared towards ages 12 to 25. Anime Club is meeting on Tuesday, June 13th in room 221. They will be watching the new season of Sword Art Online. Thank you.